speaker came up and gave us plain sailing. And when we were when we were discussing this, um, there were some really good points. We had that the the opening was about the maritime past and how it was going to be about, and, and the start of it was all about we thought maritime ships and information. There was lots of props that we saw inside, and we thought perhaps we might get some knots or something coming up. But we thought that's where it was going. Um, this speaker did um, did have some set of notes in front of us. Uh, sorry, in front of her. And whilst going through, there was several references to the notes that was picked up on a couple of occasions for an F5. So just a note on that one. I'm quite happy to speak to the speaker afterwards as well and give more detail, but let's uh, do this. Uh, the, the big point was on that was when they were going through the ropes, it was which one have I missed? Oh, fuel, as just as an example. There was some gestures coming out, which was great. There was dancing, keep your ship shape, and ropes in the hand, moving around. And there was audience participation because, of course, we had the person, the, the whole room standing, I believe. Um, and then this was the little bit of where we got a little bit lost because it was that point that the information about ship shape and information about the grandfather turned into about how we manage stress and standing on one foot. Um, it would have been nice had it came out in the opening that this is about ships but this is also information that can help develop your own life and manage your own information because then it would have been clear to the audience as to where it was going. We've got um, the ending was I've got here navigate life more easily which was maritime wise but it hadn't quite worked through the flow of the story of the speech as it went through. Um, so I think it just a little bit of a stronger line as it came through. However, what we really liked was the eye contact around the room when it's being delivered because it really was lots of lighthousing. And also, we also liked the stepping away from the lectern and actually presenting, which is great because ooh, when people stand here, they don't move. Or if they get away, they just want to get back very quickly. So we thought that was really, really good. And I think with some information and perhaps with a, a slightly different topic that people haven't heard before, it could really bring home a great speech. And I think this speaker has the absolute potential to land it but unfortunately tonight it didn't quite make it, so I hope that's... But other than that, I think both speeches were fantastic. I had a lot of fun listening to them, and there's a lot of work that went into it. So congratulations to both the speakers for giving it a go, and yes, let's not leave it there, because I think there's lots of things anyone can do, including myself, and anyone in this room, to make our speeches better. So congratulations and commiserations. Thank mm -hmm. you.